Hello. Welcome to Norway. This is where we are. Haugesund. Haugesund. And it is a lovely day. It was actually quite cold this morning. It's cool now. Much cooler than all the other places we've been to to this point. Obviously being through Spain, Italy, much warmer than where we are up north here in Norway. More like a Canadian fall kind of temperature and breeze right now. And it's only going to get colder because we're heading more north to places I cannot pronounce. Look at that ship. Okay, I'm probably going the wrong way. Looking for an electronic shop. I need to buy a travel adapter. A Euro travel adapter. But wow, look at this place. So there's been a couple of ports where I've actually taken a, a bicycle out and rode around briefly, very quickly, through town and whatnot. Today I decided not to take a bicycle. I actually have a little bit of a longer break or longer time today. The last few ports I've only had about an hour, maybe an hour and a half to actually get outside. Uh, today I've got about two hours, give or take. And decided to not take a bicycle, just decided to go for a walk today. However, in the previous ports that I was that I did take a bicycle, I really wish that I had the GoPro mount with me. I could have done that if I had a little bit more time to set that up. However, I didn't have it set up. So today, I'm just gonna walk and talk and see what we can see. Where are we going? That way. Am I gonna get hit? Am I gonna get dead? It's always actually interesting coming out at a port because being at a port there's never really much nearby it's always kind of very industrial so depending on what port we're in and how popular that port is how big that city might be um, it's usually just you know the terminal if there is a terminal and then a duty free or gift shop souvenir shop and then you're just kind of out there <laughs> in the middle of nowhere not really close to any city center or big shopping areas it all depends depends if um, if the cruise line is providing shuttle service or if we're running tours or excursions but sometimes you're just kind of left on your own which is great you get to discover a little bit but then again you're not really near anything immediately you kind of get a travel a bit to get to where you might want to be if you're looking for shopping or sightseeing or anything else that it might be you've kind of got to get yourself from the boat to that location which is always which is not always close by and even some of the more popular landmarks and places to see the ports that we've been in you need to take a train or travel a lot further hi how are you? Didn't hardly recognise you without your mask on. And, and regular clothes, I guess. And regular clothes. <laughs> and, and actually, just down there is that um, monument of Marilyn Monroe. Oh. Over legs. the bridge and then turn right along the canal. and. Um... Just past a co worker who says, along this bridge, right here, we kind of start to get into town a little bit. And she said that uh, Marilyn Monroe's father was from here. So apparently there's a statue of Marilyn Monroe, not the father. If we can find that, that'd be nice. But we're gonna foot it across this bridge and see what Hugson has to offer. Hugenson. 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 I now think that I should have got a bicycle. Would have been a lot easier, a lot faster but it's good to get out for a walk. You see the ship in the back there? The ship. Okay, 
We found the shop. Let's go in. Is a, a fruitless venture. They are sold out of travel adapters. I'm looking for a North American to Euro plug. He has the other way around. He has Euro to American. But we don't want that here. So he said I can take a bus to a shopping mall, which is about 10 to 12 minute bus ride away. Thank you. But I don't have any Norwegian krone on me. That's another problem we gotta solve. And also, where do I even catch this bus? <laughs> I don't know if there's an exchange place around. There's probably a bank, I guess. Oh. So I took out 200 Norwegian Kron, which is about 25, 26 Canadian. But we're going to attempt to take the bus, and I'm scared as hell. And of course, I just realized that I will probably need change for the bus. I can't just give them a hundred kron note, because that's about sixteen dollars, and the bus is only about ten kron, which is about a dollar thirty-five, dollar thirty-two Canadian. I'm not exactly sure if my exchanges are accurate. And then there's Sean. Hey, Sean. Waiting for the bus. It says it's about an eight minute bus ride, give or take. So with traffic and everything, probably about 10 or 12. Seems like a quiet day here. I don't know, maybe it's just usual in this small town. And if I use the same transfer in less than an hour, I can take the same bus back. So that's good. I'm told it's the old O1 going to the mall and then O2 coming back. So hopefully I make it with enough time. I'm pretty much just gonna run in, see what they got and run back out because I gotta get back to the ship. And then we're heading to another port tomorrow. <laughs> I, was on a, uh, I think it's Skolgen. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't even know how to spell it. I think that's where we're going. We're there for eight o'clock in the morning tomorrow until 3.30 p.m. So it's a shorter port tomorrow. It's two hours shorter than we are today. So I might not even be able to get out tomorrow. My break time is usually from about 3 p.m. to about 6 p.m., so those usual three hours, it could be shorter. Sometimes, uh, very rarely, it's longer than that. Only once it's been longer than that. And tomorrow, I won't be able to go to port, I don't think, because if we're all aboard for 3.30 and my break starts at 3, it's definitely not worth for even going out for the 10 minutes. Um, so it's better to just stay on the ship and do my own thing from there. At least it gives me some opportunities to edit some video as well, so long as the laptop behaves. And we'll head over to the Amanda Mall and get some stuff. The bus showed up and I didn't get on it. I decided it's not worth it today. It's kind of a tight timeline. The ship leaves in about 50 minutes. So, it's cutting it too close. So I'm actually gonna go back and we'll have to go in the next port at some point. There's also a film festival going on at the moment in town. And these are some of the Walk of Fames. And here is the Marilyn Monroe statue. But they spelled her name differently. Weird. She's a lot smaller than I thought she was. the bridge I walked across to get to where I am now. 
Nice little river through town. And I have no idea who this is. back where I started and it's much warmer now than it is was then now much warmer now maybe it's just because I'm got a fast pace going but the sun's definitely out now and it's definitely warmed up a lot which is nice still not as hot as Spain and Italy of course in the middle of summer but Hugensen who who Hugensen forgive me reminds me of my hometown a little bit mixed with I want to say Vancouver it has a Canadian feel to me it's the towns that I'm used to back in Canada obviously a bigger feel than my hometown and definitely not as big as a Vancouver there's not really high rises in the area that I was today but it had the same vibe here we are back on Sky Princess soon you know, once again, I'm always confused and amazed when the locals speak English in town. It's very convenient, and I never know if they can or do, but I've been lucky. People have been speaking English to me in every port, which has been great. Back in my cabin, and I just broke my tripod. So, <laughs> there's another thing I gotta do. I tried to uh, force, <laughs> force this to bend up because it was locked down. And I thought it was loose, but it wasn't. And it snapped right off. So, I mean, I could attempt to super glue it, but then I don't really trust it to actually hold in there anymore. Darn it. I could try, but I think I'm better off just replacing it. The, um, whatever the name of this town is. Hagenstein. H H Hugeson, something yes. like that. Hugeson.